It's amazing. I mean, if you think about, well, t- wait, I was talking about this with somebody the other day, not to go too far afield, but, you know, re- every time it feels like in my lifetime that Democrats take over the White House, they're fixing something that Republicans have royally yes. screwed up. <laughs> Usually the economy and the budget. Yes. Which is the crazy. Budget deficit soars under Republicans. Because that's recession. all they preach about is the budget deficit. Well, that, in the last four yeah. years, they didn't preach much about it at all. But they, they always kinda, went up. They went mute. Yes. Reagan they, it they went did. up. Bush it went up. Yes. Trump, Trump, Trump's, the figure with Trump is really funny. People need to Google this. Look at what the budget did, because under Obama, the deficit went up, of course, because of the economic crisis, right? I mean, we had to spend a trillion dollars of deficit that first year alone. It was crazy. That's a, I mean, that's a lot for a deficit. But what you do is you look at the chart and it goes up under Obama, then it goes to Trump and it goes even higher. (laughs) Trump had zero excuse to continue the deficits. Well, Joe Biden he, wants to Joe Biden wants to try and do this, um, you know, do something on a bipartisan level when it comes to this COVID relief. And he put up this, right. you know, what a lot of people will view as pie in the sky, one point nine trillion dollars. I don't think anybody anticipates he's going to get that. Um, but but at the end of the day, what can he do from a from a bargaining standpoint? Um, what can he shake out of Republicans out of that one point nine trillion? I mean, what do you what do you mean? I'm I'm not sure what you're asking. How much of I mean, how much of that can he realistically get? How much I don't know. Can, I don't can he know. get he any buy in? He may not be able to get any. I mean, I start thinking of the stimulus back under Obama. So it's going to have to be reconciliation, you know? then, is what you're saying. I think it might have to be. I mean, when you look back then, okay, Romney, Romney's trying to be more reasonable this time, but we'll see. I mean, Romney's been you know whining about the about the the COVID relief bill as well. Um, what's her face? You know, in, in Maine has been whining Susan as well. Collins. And she and she <laughs> and Snow did the St. Collins. She and Snow did the same thing under Obama with the stimulus. Right. You know, it, it's it's <laughs> my dog is pissed at me. I didn't give her water. Uh Oh, <laughs> did she ring a bell? Hold on a second. Did the dog ring a bell? No, she said she my dog is amazing. She's the most vocal dog you will ever meet. And she has different whines for different things. W.H.I.N.E. That is. Yeah. So now she's at the ball and she goes. Eh, and that means I ran out of water. <laughs> and like. It's she's got me trained like around her little tail. <laughs> it's just, but we're gonna make her wait. She'll survive. <laughs> so one point. So one point nine trillion. I mean, they could just put their foot down and be jerks. Collins and Snow did it. I mean, they were being jerks with the stimulus the first time around. You know, I mean, it's they could just. I don't know. I mean, they're they're clearly trying to go on this whole unity BS with Biden. Biden wanted you. Anytime Biden has a proposal of his own, they whine. Biden said he wanted unity, and now he wants to do something he wants to do. And it's like, okay, he's allowed to propose something. How long does he? How long does? How long do you think the the era of Biden and bipartisanship and reaching across the aisle? How, how long do you think that goes? Because keep in mind, with, with congressional elections, you know, twenty twenty two. You don't have a ton of time to get what you what you really want to get done done. Right. How long right. does he? How long can he afford to wait before moving on and saying, you know what? Let's talk about blowing up the filibuster. Let's, you know, how yeah. long can he well, wait? I mean, Manchin won't let him blow up the filibuster, but but I agree with you. I think it's it's going to be very interesting in the next month or two to see what Republicans do. Okay, do does McConnell really just try to be? Just like he was with Obama. Remember McConnell saying he was going to do everything he could make him to a make one-term Obama a one-term president, yeah. right? So if 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 he tries to do the same thing to Trump and he to Trump <laughs> to Biden, and he probably will, um, he'd like to obviously kick Schumer out of the Senate and take over the Senate. I mean, as majority leader and take over the Senate again. So he doesn't really want the Senate to be very productive. Uh, Republicans probably don't want the country to do very well with COVID. They don't want the economy to get better, right? All of these things get worse under Biden. Then Dem- Democrats are in trouble. I just I worry that we're in I, I worry very much that we're in a replay of 2008, 2009 in, in just like with Obama and, and, uh, and Biden. I've been saying this, even though Biden's a totally different character than Obama, I I am one who believes in bipartisanship if you can pull it off. I actually do. But I also believe that if you can't pull it off, you've got to accept it and charge ahead like a bull and get stuff done anyway. I'm, Obama Obama had a hard time with that the first couple of years, and I feel Biden might too. John, I've always felt that, and, and I remember having this conversation with you when I was in Palm Springs um, mm-hmm. doing the show there. I, I always felt that if there was any candidate that had the, the poise, um, that had the relationships – 
to bring America together in a time where it sorely needs to be brought together, that it was Joe Biden. And that yeah. was in, that was in whatever, 2019. Um, yeah. ha- have we gone so far south since then that that just isn't possible? Possibly. Um, because, again, let's take it back to the insurrection. We've still got 70% of Republicans or something like that who say Biden either didn't win or they don't believe the results or something to that effect, right? So you've already got Biden taking over with the Republicans having lied and discredited him and saying he just isn't he isn't the real president. That's the first problem. So good luck reaching a deal with the guy who isn't the real president, right? Now that also means that they're going to be just as big of idiots on anything else Biden does. Fox News is still being Fox News, and they're getting even foxier. You know, in the last couple of months, Fox News was getting a little bit better. People now are concerned that because Fox lost so many viewers to Newsmax, you know, Newsmax and OAN, yeah. these, these crazy, even crazier than Fox right-wingers, right? That now Fox is trying to go a little crazy again. By having uh, what seven o'clock hour, they took one of their news shows and they've now moved it. They've now moved it to a partisan opinion show that may have Maria Bartiromo run, who again Ugh. is a Trump-loving lunatic. So Fox is going to get even foxier now. I, I just I, if McConnell and maybe it does come down to McConnell. If McConnell decides he wants to work with Biden, maybe we can pull it off. If McConnell decides he wants to just obstruct, then I think we're going to have the Republicans go off into Trump land. And it, the country's going to get worse and worse. I had this conversation with Rick Wilson last year um, hmm. when I was when I was hosting um, my podcast, and I, I said to him, "I think it's viable that hmm. within twenty years, which isn't a long time, when you think, I mean, it's, again, twenty years since nine eleven. Right. To hmm. me, it isn't crazy to think that in twenty years, you can have four viable." political parties in the United States, which I, I've had this conversation oh, with my, right. I've had what did this, Rick, what well, did Rick well, think? Did he believe it? Or? Well, I, I, I absolutely he did. And, and, huh. and I think you, I think you can have a far left wing of the party, ultra progressive, right. um, what, what, what Republicans would call socialism, which uh, they don't have a clue as to what that is. Um, you, it you could, could very have, well be democratic socialist, you could, though. You could, yes, it can. <laughs> I mean, you could have no, the, right? I mean, but you yeah. could have the moderate wing of the Democratic Party, and conversely, you can have this um, this more moderate Republican wing of the party, the Mitt Romneys of the world, yeah. and then moderate and then and then and then the yeah. ma- and then essentially the MAGA party that right. you could that within twenty years we may get to that point that you have. Those four political parties, which, again, I was having this conversation with my husband the other day. I think it would be a good thing um, to, to have that sort of to, – to have a true representation of who these factions are in a named party, to me, wouldn't be a but bad we're thing. Not a, but the problem is we're not a – parliamentary Correct. You know, system of government. That's what scares me about it, right? You can't, I mean, good luck forming a coalition for running for president. On the left, we're all going to stab each other in the back. We don't even deal well with primaries on the left. Imagine but we ultimately we did it. But but I mean, party. Democrats ultimately did it. They did ultimately get to that point and, and the best person right, won. It was Biden. Did. Right, right, right. We did. No, we did actually, which I'm kind of surprised we did because it was, you know, I was getting pretty worried. But um. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I maybe, but I mean, I just, I guess I'm too used to having the two parties. I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I way, think it all, I think it all, I, I think it, well, and we've had this whole conversation now of Trump and a Patriot party and all this. Do you think do, I, 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 it kind of, it segues beautifully into this. Do you think that we ultimately are, are talking about six months, a year from now, Donald Trump just decides to walk away from this. Decide, it ain't worth it. I've got my hotels. I've got my licensing deals. And post-presidency life, yeah, he's got some financial issues, but he's still a former president. Who knows what connections he has to other countries around the world, other dictators, right. and, and what deals he may have cut on the side over the last four years. Then he just decides, you know what? It's political stuff. It's just not worth it. And maybe we're overstating what his influence on the party will ultimately wind up being. Um, possibly. I think, look, I, I think because he's such a narcissist that he's not going to want to fade away. You know, this Twitter ban is killing him. 
Now, let's face it. We haven't heard from this guy in two weeks. Yeah. I mean, it's been – it's kind of amazing, actually, if you think about it. It's crazy. It, he's, yeah. it, it, he became a former president – actually, the irony is by banning him, Twitter turned him into a normal formal president. Former presidents leave and they shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then the, Sorry. That, that was the other thing I was going to warn you about. And then the dog hears something. And there you go. That's okay. This would be the name. This would be the hey, Sasha. This would be the neighbor's daughter who she likes, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I work at home anyway, but in the age of COVID, fortunately, people have gotten more used to oh, children yeah. than dogs in Absolutely. the background <laughs> and husbands. <laughs> True. Um, uh, what were we saying with the? Uh, what was your question? Well, no, um, no, just on, on. just in terms of of Trump fade, deciding to fade into the. Yeah, I mean, he's not, but he's not going to want to fade, fade, right? He's such a narcissist, and he was getting such attention, and twenty times a day he was tweeting and this and that. He wants to be back on the stage. I could see him absolutely traveling around the country and having rallies just for the fuck of it, right? I mean, yeah. sorry, am I am I allowed to swear on you? That's okay. Just 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 for the hell of it, he's going to go have rallies and whatever. Um, the political thing is a nice grift, so he might do it for that reason, right? He raised $200 million for the steel election thing. And of course, it wasn't really for the steel election thing. You know, that's the, the, guy, the guy who's got problems with his debt. He had to salivate when he saw $200 million coming in. So he knows if he can do some more election grift, he can get more money. So, so that's going to be an incentive for him. But I think he, he wants people to be talking about him, and we're not talking about him. I heard Charlie so that, Dent. That scares me. That that's gonna, I, I heard Charlie Dent suggest huh. that uh, Ivanka Trump was going to run for. Marco Rubio's Senate seat is—is is, is, does he know something we People all don't? Been saying that, oh, that's just been, that's been the chatter for a while now. That's just been the chatter. I don't know why she would. You know? I mean, she still has so much life ahead of her. I, again, I don't well, understand what the appeal, I mean, yeah, what the allure yeah. would be. Why to, politics? No, I, mean, I don't get it. Well, because also she's tarnished. I mean, she's tarnished her name so much in the last four years, right? Of course. She was setting herself up to be Little Miss, my you know trademark in China and my purses and everything else, yeah. and my see through my see through blouse at the UN and whatever. <laughs> um, I was appalled by that, by the way. But did you see all these all those photos? But Obama didn't you? wore a beige suit. She had a freaking nipple <laughs> shirt at the UN. I showed it to my mother. I was like, okay, maybe it's me being a prude. I showed it to my mother, and she goes, you've got to be kidding me. I said, Mom, it's not. I pulled up, like, three other photos, and they were all from, like, Getty and Real News Services. Yeah. She was like, I can't believe she would do that. <laughs> no, I mean, it was it was obscene. And, and she was attending a religious meeting, yeah. a meeting of religious people at the UN, wearing a shirt broadcasting her freaking nipples. These people are out of their minds. <laughs> I mean, ugh, anyway, anyway. I digress. Yeah. And then Laura <laughs> Trump potentially running for Congress in North Carolina. Yeah. I mean, Don Jr. is insane. He'll probably try. Oh. Um, Ivanka, I, you know, they may both try. I don't know what they – now, Don Jr., again, like dad, you know, we are we are Don Jr.'s dad. You know, Don Jr. <laughs> needs the affirmation. He didn't get it from Donald, so he needs the, the Twitter trolls to be like, oh, we love you, we love you. Right? So, so he may run just for that reason, although him legislating – him legislating would be hysterical, you know, Yeah. because he wouldn't. Um, Ivanka, I don't know what she's thinking. She honestly ought to go back into business and try to rehabilitate her name. Because she still has time to. And and if anything in you know? America ha has been proven, you get a second chance here. And sometimes well, even more you, than I that. I mean, you get a second chance, but the, at least in politics, we always say that it's very hard to turn around a negative. In terms of once you've been painted as a sort of a negative persona, it's hard to sort of bring that back. Because people sort of decide, I don't like you. It's hard. If they don't know you, maybe if they like you, you can turn them against you. But but once you know somebody's done a bad thing or is a bad person, it's kind of hard to say, oh, but, you know, bygones. Although with Trump, you know, they're trying to. It's oh, he got five people, six people killed. Bygones. <laughs>